I recently held a poll asking what video that people would want to see from me next. And a whopping 63% of the votes came in at a monthly income reveal. So without further ado, here's a behind the scenes look at my eight streams of income. All right, welcome to my office. I'm gonna be going into a spreadsheet that I use to track my monthly income. And just like every other YouTube spiel, this isn't me bragging or showing off. I just want to give you some ideas from my experience of different things where I make money. And if you're looking to make extra money as well, these are some things you might be able to try. The very first piece that makes up my monthly income is from dividend stocks. And if you're unfamiliar, dividend stocks is a form of investing where a company gives a small portion of its profits to its investors. For example, if you were to invest $100 into Apple per se, Apple would then give you a small percentage of that investment on a recurring basis. And in my opinion, this is one of the easiest ways to make passive income. There's a lot of different ways to be able to invest into dividend stocks, but the way that I use is through an app called Robinhood, which is super simple. And at the time of this recording, I have nearly $30,000 invested in various companies like Google, Amazon, Tesla, and many others. And looking at my total dividend income for the month, it comes in at $23.88. Now, even though this doesn't seem like much, remember, I didn't do anything for it. And when it comes to generating income, every single penny counts. And if you might be interested in using Robinhood to invest in dividend stocks, they'll gift you a free stock that's valued anywhere between five to $200 if you sign up using my link below. Another part of my monthly income is from something called digital downloads. A lot of people sell digital products online like calendars, planners, artwork, and a lot of other things. And there are tons of different websites where people list their digital products to sell. Currently, I have a number of guides listed on Etsy.com that can be purchased and downloaded directly from the site. And the best thing about it is that I don't have to deal with any of the transactions or customer service because Etsy handles all of that. Now going back into the tracker, from these digital downloads for the month, I earned $179.92. That brings my monthly total so far to $203.80. The next stream of income I have is through something called crowdfunding. And this is basically just a membership program where people can sign up in exchange for products or services. And although there's a lot of different ways to do this, I use an app called Patreon where people can join my community and I provide information on things like digital sales and e-commerce. Now for crowdfunding for the month, I earned a total of $294.13. Now this next form of income is what I'm most passionate about, and that's YouTube. Every month, I earn revenue on ads that play during my videos while viewers are watching. And I have a whole separate video explaining exactly how creators are paid on YouTube because it is pretty complicated. So I'm gonna link that below in case you wanna check it out. But for the month, YouTube paid me a total of $704.27 for people just watching videos that I uploaded. And that brings my monthly total to $1,202.20. Another way I make money is through something that's known as affiliate marketing. And this is where a company agrees to pay you a small commission for referring someone over to buy that company's products or services. Now I'd have to imagine that one of the most commonly used affiliate programs is probably Amazon, where pretty much anyone can sign up and they'll give you a referral link. And if anyone clicks your link, and then makes a purchase from Amazon, then you would get a small commission from that sale. Now, I mainly use two affiliate programs and for the month, I earned a total of $1,868.74. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really enjoy this form of income because at this point, I don't do anything for this money from these affiliates. I have my referral links posted to a couple of high traffic websites and I earn a small commission every single time that somebody clicks those links and makes a purchase. All right, so we've gone through a good number of income streams so far. So leave me a comment if you might have any questions or if you wanna learn more about anything we've covered up to this point. 
Now this next one is hands down my absolute favorite form of income and that's real estate investment. I will say the way that I found the property that I invested in is probably the most irresponsible way ever done in real estate investment history. I'll tell you about that catastrophe later in the video, so stick around. But somehow everything worked out and I currently have a tenant that's renting the home and every month I receive $1,195 in rental income. So that brings my overall monthly total to $4,265.94. Now listen, the reason I say this is my favorite form of income so far is that I literally don't do anything for this check every month. There was even one point that I forgot that I had a rental property. And that's how little I'm involved in making any income off of this. And the other reason is years down the line, this house could be worth way more than I paid for it, which would add to my overall net worth. Let me know in the comments section if you've ever thought about investing in real estate, because if so, I'd love to talk to you more about it. Another fairly lucrative form of income that I use is called reselling. And this is a fairly simple concept of finding an item somewhere for a cheaper price than where you can sell it for somewhere else. So I usually go to different thrift stores or clearance sections where I can find products that are marked down for cheaper prices. Then I list them online to websites that get a lot of customer traffic for a shopper to buy that item at a higher price than what I paid for it while I pocket the difference. And the sites I typically use to sell these items are Amazon and eBay. And the total that I earn from both of these sites combined for reselling products online is $3,493.69. Now, obviously that's a really major portion of my income for just selling things online. And this is something that I'd recommend to most people who are looking to make extra money on the side. I have tons of videos on my channel talking about reselling in more detail, and I'll link those below in case you wanna learn more about it. Now, this next one is admittedly not my favorite because I'm really not passionate about it, but I'm good at it. And that's technical recruiting, which is my nine to five job. I currently work for a company where I find and hire software engineers to develop their business applications. And unlike the other forms of income that I mentioned, this is not at all a passive means of making money, nor really is any nine to five job. And what I mean by that is I exchange my time to do work for the company where they pay me a flat amount for that work. But as soon as I stop providing that work, the paychecks will also stop. But what I can say is they do pay well. So at least for the time being, I don't have any plans to leave. So going back to the tracker on a monthly basis to recruit software engineers for this technology firm, I get paid $11,666 per month. Now I know you're probably thinking, why on earth would anyone want to leave a good paying job like that? And in short, I just feel that time is way more valuable than money, which is why I look to build as many passive income streams as possible. My ultimate goal is to grow my earnings from things like affiliate marketing and rental property income to either meet or exceed what I'm currently making from my full-time recruiting job. Hey, and trust me, once that happens, but back to the point, totaling up all the different factors of my income for the month, I earned a total of $19,425.63. Almost $20,000 in a month is crazy. And to break it down even further, every day I'm alive, that would equal $693.77. Every hour, $28.91. Every minute, 48 cents and every year $233,107.56. Now that being said, the most important thing I want you to get out of this video is that most anyone can do this. I personally don't have any college education or formal training in any of the things I went over. So I know for a fact, if I can do it, anyone can do it. I mean, most of how I learned about these different forms of income was through watching YouTube videos but I plan on continuing to find new ways to add to my income streams this year. So if you wanna follow along in the journey, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And if you stayed until this point in the video, like I mentioned, 
I'll give you the scoop on the idiotic approach that I took to finding a rental property. Even though I would encourage everyone, if you're in a financial position to get into real estate investment, do not do it the way that I did it. I actually blindfolded myself and pointed to a map of the United States to decide where to invest in real estate. To see exactly how it played out for me, go ahead and click into this video next.